put all your notes, all your storyboard uh, illustrations, all your acting notes, your, your plot lines, your through lines, your contracts, your screenshots, every single thing that pertains to your film, um, put them all in a notebook. Um, I went everywhere on set with this notebook. Anytime I had a question about how I wanted to shoot a scene, how I wanted to direct an actor, how I wanted the actor to act in the scene, what the, the, the intention was of the actor in the scene, I had them in this notebook. Um, it's gonna relieve a tremendous amount of stress for you so you don't have to worry about where everything is at and, um, and uh, it's gonna allow you to be confident on set because you have all your inf information with you. Um, and you know, you have to keep, there's permits and contracts that you have to have. Um, so put them in the notebook as well. Uh, my web series uh, had six episodes and I broke it down. Uh, I broke this folder down into six, six major sections and everything that pertained to that particular episode, those notes, those illustrations, those storyboards would go in that folder. And so when we were shooting a scene that was in that episode, I'd open that folder out, I remind myself what I wanted out of the scene and I'd communicate that with the, with the crew and with the cast. So get a notebook and make one for yourself. Come to the set with tons of energy. Always come to the set exciting, excited, uh, thrilled to be on set. Um, even when things are not going the way you think they're, they should be going, um, say good morning to everybody. Um, be the happiest guy on set because one, you should be happy. You're filming something and it's, it's just a privilege to film, a, to, to make a film. And two, the whole set leads off of you. Um, and uh, make sure you always thank everybody for, for their work. Say thank you, you know, when, when they're wrapping up that night. Everybody, and I mean even the grips, every single person. You, should, you personally as a director should say good morning to everybody and should also thank everybody. Um, everyone leads off of you and you know, no one's making tons of money on, on these guerrilla films and, or, or projects and by you being um, gracious and being respectful, it, it, it allows them to commit to the project. They feel that you care about them so they care about what they're doing on, on the set and um, do everything you can to, to treat people with respect and to have a lot of energy and to say thank you all the time. And if you can, you know, if you can find a way to do it in the budget, you know, I, I bought my crew beer at the end of every day um, when we shot Landing Home. Um, you know, I didn't, we didn't have a party or anything. I just, I bought like a case of beer and whenever we wrapped, we would all have a beer as we, you know, put things away for the, for the night. And um, we kind of detox a little bit. And it was great because it allowed us to bond as a team and um, everyone felt really um, committed to the project. So if you can do that, I would suggest that you try to do that. Get plenty of punch-ins, as many as you can. Um, shoot people's hands, people's legs, shoot, you know, if you see something interesting and your gut tells you to shoot it, shoot it. Um, even if your whole crew says that's a dumb thing to shoot. When we were shooting Landing Home, I saw a caterpillar crawling on the floor when we were outside in the park. My character is a veteran who is struggling coming back home. And I thought it was very symbolic of this caterpillar, you know, crawling on the floor to what my character was going through. And so I had uh, my DP shoot it and it looks great. It, we had this amazing shot of this caterpillar, really tight shot of him or it or of it crawling on the floor and we're gonna use it. And it's in the trailer and it's gonna be used in, 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 the, in the series. And, and you can't have enough punch-ins. Um, just, you know, make sure you get your actress playing with her hair of people's hands, of hands on the wall. Get as many punch-ins as you can because when you're in the editing phase, you just don't know when you're gonna need that stuff. And um, the last thing you wanna do is be cutting your film and going, man, I wish I had a little bit more, a couple more reaction shot, shots or a, I wish I had a couple more punch-ins. I don't have any more punch-ins. Um, you know, and get B-roll, you know. When you're going from location to location, tell your DP to turn on his camera and just record as you're going down the street. You're gonna use that B-roll. You can use that B-roll for, for time lapses in between scenes. Make sure that you shoot um, outside when no one's outside. Make sure you shoot in front of the house when no one's around the house. You know, you want all this extra footage, all these extra punch-ins, because these are gonna be like the little bits that are gonna kinda fill your story out. So um, um, shoot it. If you think you need it, shoot it. If you, don't, if you think you might need it, shoot it. Um, shoot as much as you possibly can. Direct with kindness. Uh, and what I mean by that is that um, 
be respectful of your actors, um, ask them what they need, and try to do everything you can to relax them on set. Um, a relaxed actor is a good actor. And acting for 20 years, I've been blessed to pick things up with directors who I have a lot of respect for that I could apply to my craft as a director. And um, I've, unfortunately, I've been on sets where directors didn't know how to direct actors, and so I knew exactly what not to do um, to my actors. I think when you yell action, it should be quiet. Um, it should be, you don't need to bark it out like some egomaniac. It should just be, you know, action, guys. Um, because, you know, acting is tough, is tough enough as it is, and, and you don't need to kind of, you know, uh, get people's anxieties up by barking action at them. And when you give direction, give it to them privately. You know, no one else needs to know what the direction is between you and your actor. Um, I gave every note to all of my actors privately, even when it was good, you know. I, I didn't need to let everybody else know um, what I was trying to communicate with my, with my actor. And when you're always communicating privately to your actors in every scene throughout the film shoot, um, the other actors don't feel like, oh, he's giving me a note now. It means I'm not a good actor. They realize that this director gives notes privately after every take, uh, after every scene, and um, it relaxes them. They know that this is the process, you know? When I've been on sets when directors have just barked at me, you know, trying to say, you know, make it, it's no good. It's, you know, make it better, you know, do something different, really loud. And it's just a horrible way to receive direction. I mean, that's, you can't be any more vague and vague. And I don't know what to do with that. And so um, just remember that if you can relax your actors, they're gonna give you amazing work. And when I look at my footage, um, when I'm cutting it, um, I see relaxed actors. I see actors who are giving it their all. And I tend to, I, I wanna think that it's because I worked so hard to make sure that they, they felt respected and that they felt relaxed. And so, um, Direct your actors with kindness. Your film project will appreciate it. A little trick that I learned um, directing and that I learned as an actor that works really well on a film set is improv. When your actors are struggling in a scene, um, tell them to improv something. Um, uh, tell them to make up a story. Tell them to talk about their day. Tell them to uh, talk about what they're going to do for vacation. Anything. Anything that's going to loosen them up and get them more grounded and make them feel like they're human again. Because sometimes, you know, when you're in a scene and you're not connecting with it and you're struggling with it as an actor, you just don't, you just feel really weird and, and you don't feel human anymore. You feel like you're trying to create, you're trying to force something down, down this tube of, that, of, of performance that you can't figure out. And a lot of times the way you ground an actor is just tell them, hey, you know, tell me, tell her what you're gonna do tomorrow. Um, on, on your day off or tell her what your favorite food is and what you love about it. And, and they start talking about it and, and it's amazing how it loosens them up, especially for actors who don't have improv um, skill. And um, you can get anybody to improv and make sure you film that. Um, and, and you film that and a lot of times you can have them improv and film that and then have them start the scene. Then the scene kind of clicks in because they got connected from the improv and now they're connected and they're listening and they're talking to each other like regular human beings um, in the scene. So use improv when you feel like you're getting stuck as a director. And the last thing I wanna leave you with is you're gonna have many sleepless nights, especially during pre-production before you shoot the film, definitely when you're shooting the film. Um, it's all part of the process. Um, you're gonna get through it, get it done. I know that I would wake up in the middle of the night just almost in a cold sweat, freaking out that what did I get myself into? But you find a way. We as creatives, we always find a way to get it done. Um, and when people let you down and you're feeling completely stressed out and overwhelmed, just be grateful that you're getting uh, the opportunity to feel these experiences. Because it's a privilege to make a film, to make a short film, to make a, a, a web series. It's, it's an endeavor. It's expensive, it takes a lot of hard work, and you just don't know when you're gonna get another opportunity to do it, and especially to direct your own film. Um, so be grateful that you're in it, um, and know that you're gonna get it done. Um, and when you go to bed, 
Every night before you fall asleep, just tell yourself how grateful you are that your project has been such a success, that you're grateful that this is the most successful project that you ever, ever filmed. This is gonna, this, you're grateful that this, there was no hiccups in it. You kinda wanna hypnotize yourself and focus yourself on the outcome of how you want your film to be. And if you do that, I kinda believe that it sends a, an energy out into the creative world and that the directing and acting gods bless you. Um, and that's what I did every night, even when I was stressed out. I would just remind myself how grateful I was that my project was such a success. And it's, it, it came out that way. And we had plenty of hiccups. We had plenty of you know, storms, but we got through it. I got through it and you can get through it. Know that you have everything inside you to finish your project and to get it done. Um, read, research, prepare yourself, and you'll make it happen. And I wish you nothing but the best of success and uh, warp speed.